Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Tron Bianchal Let's Play. We continue for episode 20 from turn 85 in the summer season of 207. So, we are duchy, but we have Dobe as our vassal. So we're basically a couple clicks away from hitting king. And we are probably going to use Zerp. Because we have played plenty of restore campaigns and given Bianchal's tendencies. I think historically he probably would have usurped as well. We still have a few wars on our hand. There is the pesky northeastern holdings that we have to take down. And the battle out west continues. Um, our army took a heavy heavy hit with a very silly uh, delegate here. It will fix itself eventually once he gets some supplies. We're gonna get some faction-wide bonus from Yuanyang here. Most of the MTU characters have very decent passive bonuses, and we'll try to take advantage of those. We are still playing the spy game, and I think we're actually going to start spying on Liu Bei's faction because we want to know where Zhuge Liang is. If he's on the field, he's on the field. We can absorb him. All the important characters are on the field. Oh, except for Guan Yinping. Hmm. Is she worth it? Can I... somehow... get her to just... flip? Now we grab a new one. Ooh, she's not willing. We'll start with... Actually, it doesn't really matter who. Wait. She wait, wait, wait. Can we target her? No, we can't. But we can let her discredit the faction? That seems a little weird. Oh, now we can do it. Now she's low enough. Will she turn? No. Hmm. I can hit the faction so hard that she will leave. It's not picking up the minus 10. There's a display bug or something going on with this mod. All right, we're just going to do a few things. We want Hansing to get killed for no particular reason other than having a little bit of fun. There's people we want here as well, but that takes time. Let's just dump everyone. We want to cause a scene. I mean, that's the best we can do. I think there are a few people who might leave the whole faction. And we'll facilitate that. So maybe he will have to summon someone to replace them. But we're in the clear in terms of confederation. That's good news. The armies have all moved. So the question is basically, when do we want to hit... King. I don't think we have to spend on armies. We already did that. All right, let's just a quick diplomacy check. Not piecing out with any of them. And we can just continue.
我们之前犯了错， Perfect. 必须亡羊补牢。We murder him as well. Split his faction. Oh, he has another stack. Right, we have a couple spies leaving, which is what we want. We're gonna get hit. Are we gonna get injured again? Oh, without incident. Good. And we got the knight bestowment. A little bit of.、Uh, Foreshadowing of our desire to usurp. All right, no new spies. Any new summons to replace the existing? Oh, oh, Zhu Guojin is also here as well. Ooh, she got all sorts of recently hired salary promotion, recently promoted, all sorts of stuff, just boosted. Right, so I don't think we'll get her. I can make the heir leave, which will be quite interesting. The heir is at zero points. She will leave during the end turn. We're just waiting for points. Next turn. Anyone want to come over? Oh, Shen Lu Bu Li Ru. Oh my God. Okay, so Li Bu and Li Ru are on the field. I think we grab Gao Shen first. Lock him in, and we don't have to take any chances. We are just gonna throw these points over. And then just summon him right now. He's my. Yeah, we need more slots, but we can work with five. I don't want to invest any more of our prestige points into that. Ma Dai is heir. We、we'll、try to get the capture. We have the capture rate bonus. But Zhang He is higher level and can do it better. This is just a delegate. Any chance we got him? Yep, he's not willing to come over. We'll release. I'll be a little bit patient with him. Maybe he'll come later. We'll defend. We're creeping down towards Wu Du here. Not an easy fight at all. They need to stay put and heal up. Actually, they can kind of heal on the way. The objective is ready captured. We're going for this. They need some help. Yeah, they ruined Liu Bu on the field, so we don't really need to grab them. Han Sui is in for a surprise. I want to move capital before we hit King, which also takes money, 25k to be exact. We want our capital to be more lucrative, or maybe more historical. Maybe Chang'an would make more sense. It's only five thousand. Oh. Then this is not an economic move. This is just for the sake of. Hmm. It actually kills trade routes because of the way the Yellow River is taken. I guess for economy sake, maybe Hedong is better because Hedong has enough commerce to take advantage of the bonus that it gives. And it will still maintain the trade through these ports in the north. Yeah, we can do that actually. We'll spend our cash here. We have a couple more tough fights. This one's not going to be easy. We'll set up the siege first. 
They have a siege weapon. Lots of cavalry. Wait, I don't see how this will be a close victory. Should be an easy fight. Actually, we probably want this because it's a bunch of cavalry charging out at us. Poison would be a different type of debuff, actually. I can mock. And I can go Hail of Arrow. Pretty sure they will charge out. Right. So actually... We want to hit the ground. Oh, wow, this is a great opportunity for Hail of Arrows as well. No, we already kind of missed the opportunity. We'll try to light up this forest. Ooh, why are we moving forward? The poison will apply a separate debuff of speed. I mean, good luck charging to spears, buddies. There we go. Oh, we're not fighting spear with this. Break that. I mean, keep keep charging. Oh, see this kind of resembles what Zhen Ma Jian should have looked like, a thin, long blade used to kill cavalry. Ooh. Perfect. Here, go kill those. Is it only generals? Okay. Well, then we can't use it. There's no enemy generals in this battle. That should be our win. We'll still use the lineage, I think, even though most of our units are pretty healthy. Actually, we don't need it because this is Lu Zi's army. 15% replenishment on her. That should heal almost everyone back up. Oh, 
们再也不敢小瞧我们了。Yeah, I don't think we need it. Uh, the garrison replenishment though might be pretty good. Oh. Uh, I don't know if she should actually be running range unit though, so I don't think that really matters. I'll take the morale. Right, they have this one last army coming down. We'll fight this as well. This one's not going to be that easy. But then again, I'm not sure firepower is the solution here against a lot of range and a lot of cavalry. We're really good against infantry, which we've proven in that siege battle. Oh, this is this map. Um, we can maybe use it to our advantage. We don't have to worry about the left flank. I don't even think we need to cover the front. This is probably fine. We need a huge side flank. A couple guys in the back. Then these guys are kind of just like, like this. Yeah. It's not turtle formation, but the idea is similar. Where we kind of block for our units that's manning the machines against enemy range. It's not going to be perfect, not 100%, but... We'll take full advantage of that. This is the invisible cavalry group. They're gonna hunt down the enemy range units. And we'll chill in the back. And to protect our back line from enemy cavalry charges, we'll use something like this. Should be fun. Any duels we can get? We don't have any good weapons in these two generals, so the duels are not going to be... Oh, they also can't duel. That's so fine. That... I don't know how good this is against cavalry. We're about to find out. It does spread pretty wide, so... Yeah, it does hit okay. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. I don't know if I should micro them or just let them find their own target. Feels like we should be hitting here. Where this is. And it feels like the AI is kind of cheating over here. We're going to loop around and kill this thing. We need to loop pretty wide to not get discovered. Ooh. Alright, you find your own target. Don't want to micro. I don't think we need to charge everyone. Two of you go. Other two wait. It's pretty decent against cavalry. It like the spread is wide enough that it hits even the scattered cavalry units. All right, they've been sent out. They're heading back. We should be killing it pretty soon. No worries. Yeah, we can't do too much against that. The arrows. Ooh, they might be friendly fire. Why do they turn so wide? Okay, it's fine against the infantry. We'll take that out. Oh, 
We should be fine. They got a spear unit in there. I probably don't have enough to chase like that. They're not breaking into our formation and nothing's getting too close. The problem is they have range. Picked off most of their range units. At a pretty heavy cost to our cavalry, but that's our job. To them. Also, didn't want to chase all the way out here, although we did chase that guy off. <laughs> Think it's time to engage. Yeah, pretty sure most of our cavalry are going to be pretty dead after this, but whatever. Looks like we got this. They're kiting us pretty hard over here. But the ones we have caught up to have been killed by us. We can't catch them. Maybe we can light this forest up. Oh, it's going to be friendly fire. Nope. Yeah, the forest fire should knock this guy out. Army loss, finally. Whew. All right, we had enough firepower. One man's voice, 不可小觑. 
where uh I don't need her cavalry we'll release for cash Linebreaker be given back to Galshrun. These are all pretty bad weapons, but whatever. Better than what they have. Ah, eh, these are decent passive buffs. We'll take those. Right, they have a pretty easy job here. Do we get the cavalry discount? We do. Okay, that's massive. They didn't change that. By the time they get through, it'd be pretty healthy, and we have to take out the rest as well, then play sail down. I guess our biggest concern is still how to pick up Liu Bei's faction. Most of it, it's ready to go. Should we care about Guan Yinping at this point? Maybe not. We'll give it maybe one more turn. Just got to make sure there's no Roman officers hiding amongst the recruits. Nope. All right. Who else leveled up? Uh, Ventro has been a Simon character all game. That's fine. We could also wait till the next round of reforms to pick up maybe a few more army slot in case nobody has too many armies for us to absorb, which might be a thing. Don't need this. Need to convert this and need to downgrade this and then convert this as well. It's the wrong... Actually, that's not the wrong one, because this is neither commerce or peasantry, and then this could just be peasantry. We can decide that later. Actually, it should be... It's wrong. It should be commerce, because they're going to have in-buildings and marketplace to boost silk and stuff. Why are we selling food? Alright. Um, we also would want to upgrade that, but once again, no cash. Looks like not entirely safe to pull up more taxes and we have enough money, so we should be fine. Oh. This is a bit unexpected and concerning. What about our tea? Oh, we got the ambush. This makes this fight incredibly easy, but this is a close defeat on paper. We're going to have to fight it. But it's an ambush. We have full cavalry charging into this. Not many spears. A couple interesting units, but we should crush it pretty easily. I mean, for our particular army, this is pretty much the best scenario. We're, we don't siege very well into Wudu. Ready to 
Although, the thing about ambush fights is we have to give a lot of orders in a very short amount of time. So the amount of microing. A lot of spears here. We kind of don't want to fight this frontal group. And I also have these. Which is probably going to be in charge of hitting this middle section here. And then we have two of these. Just to create a mess of things over here. Alright, how about you four who can't really get into any formation, back up the army over here. And then we'll just make sure we have this set right. We hit the spear, or yeah, it's pretty much as high as we, we are going to hit. Spear. Range. Spear. Spear. Okay, I might need to borrow two more back. Alright, let's see how fast we can do these waters. Oh, they see us as well. Should be able to clean up a couple of these fights and then immediately bounce the other target. They are going to take a lot of pressure right here. But maybe we can flank them a little bit. That's an easy kill. Start charging up. Can we get another fight? Go help. Right, the ones that finish the fight need to keep going and everyone get a heal immune to fatigue real quick this is tough this this group's gonna get wiped that's fine all right switch this way this is their azor dragon which is difficult we flanked around you go here you go here Charge, charge. They're breaking. Azor Dragon's gonna take a while to get killed. She's gonna break, let her break. It's over. Not bad. Definitely the best we can hope for in a battle like this. Okay, Zor Dragon broke. We could be patient and chase here, but I think we're fine. We still took casualties, but... Like I said, against this army setup with what we have, this was the ideal situation for us. Ooh. Very good. Those units are very powerful. And we get two of them. We'll take replenishment. Han Sui. Yeah. We want this fight, so this is perfect. We come in 
to defend our vassal and get a little bit of trustworthiness back as well. And Hunter doesn't know it, but he's going to lose his head next turn. His son's on my payroll. What? How did we not get a warning? Ooh, did we just like did we just time out a lot of assignment real quick? Yeah, both of these timed out the same turn. Uh that is very unfortunate. Losing Mach Hall like that. Definitely wasn't planned. There's also no chance of him coming back because he's dissatisfied with our faction when he left. The girl left. We can make our move. Oh no, she's been summoned. Perfect, we can make our move. First, we make this move. Hansui is dead. I don't know if we want to grab another spy in the faction. Okay, we couldn't get anyone else from Dongjuo's faction, so we'll grab this. Trying to trigger a civil war by making people unhappy might be hard to do. Feels like she has either artwork or better armor. Yeah, better armor. Where did you come from? Whose faction? Liu Bei's heir? Liu Bei, I mean, some important care. Where the items all loaded on her. I don't want you to leave. You've just been assigned to assignment. Um, we're rich enough to just give you a, a position. Anyone else at risk of leaving us? 20s are fine. We didn't get a warning, so... It's just a sudden dip. Hmm. Bit unfortunate with two timed out. Maybe it is time to hit King, because we get at least that five extra point of satisfaction. We can drag them in to a field fight, which we can win. Oh, because it's ambush, we don't drag in the garrison? Then with night battle. Crushing defeat. Not make this mistake again. It's all cavalry. This makes perfect sense. That's actually like a very reasonable delegate result. But once we send this army back as backup. We should be able to pick this up easily. Oh, Yanan picked up his uh, injury trait now. Full trait. That's fine. Bound to happen. Hansui has died. The sun's here. We want to wipe this army out, perhaps capture Madai. It's a chance. 
I mean, we captured him last time. He's just not willing to work for us. We'll be patient here. I'm not scared of that army, especially with the uh, Hanzui being dead. Hmm. Why medium casualty? We did lose a chunk, but this is a explosive shot, rain fire down on town type of battle. I mean, we don't have to fight where there's so many towers, even though it's not even going to be relevant here. I don't think anyone's making it close. Ah, we lit up their oil. We also have these. When they do get close, it's all infantry. Yep, it's over. Toasty. Oh. General's dead. Unit that charged out are dead. Unit that didn't charge out will be dead. Town's on fire. Yeah, there's no way this is medium casualty. Just don't have to do anything. So brave. All right, that's that. I don't think we need to use lineage here because the captain Renu units will bounce back fully mustered. Oh, definitely this for the boost. Their army disappeared, which I assume will be here. We cannot reach them, so it looks like an ambush halfway through seems to be the play. Oh, they have two stacks. Oh, coming for you, Bei Ping. Do they have siege weapons? They don't, so they can't take it, which means we can reinforce that and knock them out. There's our girl. All right, we need to get a head count of his army. It feels like a lot. We also went into negative income because of Sun Quan's Sun Tzu's trade cancellation. Really painful. We missed three trade partners here. He even filled up his trade afterwards. So we can't even return the trade. We are also trading with Liu Bei, so the instant we absorb him, we might consider creating a few smaller vassals for trade partners at this point, especially in the fringe commanderies. 
The only way we can get a decent count of his army is just by counting the number of generals on the field and divided by three. It's our best guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-ish. Ten armies, right? Unless I miscounted. Three one army, two army, three army, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. We can absorb that. We have eleven slots. Oh, there's a couple that has two. Two that we see that have two. That's a full army. Feels like only those two have two, which would just make it eleven armies, which is the perfect amount. I don't see any one army compositions. We're just gonna go for it. It's time. It's gonna be ugly. The game's probably gonna freeze for a couple of minutes just processing it. Yeah, no one's gonna like this. Except for us. Absolutely love this. We hit King. We also have Imperial City now. Our income's absolutely in the tank because all the armies on the field we have. We'll fix it. Rank up available. Oh, the question is, how do we get a save point at this point? Hmm. We're gonna siege that just to get ourselves a save. I mean, if he fights us, we can always just kite back. It's not a big deal. Let's see who we got. Drew it out. Was the last army group. So if he's here, we got everyone. We got some of his family as well. Probably a wife. We are deep in debt. The spies are back. Items to flip. We want to hit king as well. I think we want to hit king now. Yeah, who do we trigger as the other two kingdoms? Let's figure that out. We want a max administrator, we want a max army. Then most likely just another trade route. We're going to create some vassals. I don't think we need... I mean, it's nice to have more spies, but it's not going to make a huge difference. We can live with five. Just target one faction at a time. Alright, moment of truth. Who's the other two kingdoms? Ooh, and Wei. So Wei did recover. So this is beautiful. We basically created three kingdoms with like a slightly different version. We're going to take the throne for ourselves, which is something we actually have not done. I have not done in any of my Let's Plays. So after centuries, the old Han Dynasty has finally lost the mandate of heaven, yet the people under heaven still suffer from the chaos of war brought by petty warlords and their false claim to the mandate. My lord, you must end this. China awaits a ruler who will bring unity and prosperity to the realm. How will we choose to rule? By virtue, which gives us... 20% trade influence, 15 points of diplomatic relations, and we get virtual royal guards. We have an increased redeployment cost. That's not a big deal. Minus 25% income from looting settlements and post-battle loot. Also not a huge deal. Locks might royal guard. And if we rule by might, uh, which abbreviation of TROM, the rule of might... Minus 20% trade influence, minus diplomatic relations, and basically we're just going to war. But honestly, unless the Might Royal Guard and Virtue Royal Guard have a huge discrepancy in like power, 20% trade influence versus like 25% post loot, both have virtues. 20% is pretty bad. The diplomatic relations play the only good part here. 
I think we'll rule by might. This is a Trom Let's Play. The rule of might it is. Alright. Kingdom of Song is formed. Kingdom of Wei is formed. Kingdom of Wu is hiding deep, deep down south in Lingling. Very far from us. We're still at war with the north. We will be wiping them out. We have to digest Liu Bei's army, which will take quite a while. A uh, new dynasty is formed. We have a debuff for the next 15 turns. This is a very nasty debuff of public order that we have to handle. Um, we don't care about this in imperial uh, intrigue anymore. We are now empire. There's a lot of bonuses we are dealing with. We get elite um, captain retinues to use. There might be new units as well. Let's see if we can spot out. Let me just delete this guy, be easier. Protector of Heaven. Look slightly different now. I mean, he doesn't have access to the other one, I assume. Anyone not in a weird stance? This is probably all not going to get saved. We're firing a ton of people. Uh, for example, her, right? She's she's gone. So what we're going to do is just delete this. Take a quick peek at her units. Imperial sword guards. So she's purple. So I'm looking at purple units here for the most part. Mm, cool. Now we fire her. She's she, we're gonna be firing a lot of people next episode. Where is she? She's right here. We are going to be releasing you from service, which opens up a slot to see what elite level captains look like. Oh, they just become northern ones. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if Northern Spearmen are like elite elite. But this is what we got, so this is what we have. Alright, that's pretty much what we're curious about. Plenty of people to fire, plenty of people to use. We did lose Mach Hall, which is a bummer. But aside from that, everything went great. We're gonna use this as a save. There is a ton to do to fix the court, and we're gonna come back and do that next time. So, until then. Huh. It's gonna be a long march. I mean, Trugalan's army is here. We could go to Guangling and just immediately try to take this. A surprise attack by Zhuge Liang. Not something he's known for, for being a cautious general, but um, definitely an option. Uh, regardless, Wu is going to be a big monster to take down. He probably has all of this in the middle. Maybe not all of it. It all seems to be holding quite a bit of the edge. Uh, but we're probably going to have to take care of the north and then press down together, create many little vassals, and work our way down. So... Until then, bye.